Morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's your girl, the real true divine feminine. Welcome to my channel. I am coming this morning with a message for you guys. And my message is coming from Psalms 103 and 13. And it says, like a parent feels compassion for their children. That's how the Lord feels compassion for those who honor him. God loves you no matter what. Okay. God loves you no matter what you have done. He has a agape love for you. And he wants you to love other people. Yes, other people do hurt you. Other people do betray you. Other people do belittle you. They do a lot of things. But God is calling us to love them no matter what. And just because you and someone do not agree on the same thing doesn't mean that you cannot love them. Just because you and someone had a fallen out doesn't mean that you cannot love them. God never said for you to be shoo shoo and all this in these people's faces. He never said for you to get back jam tight with somebody who hurt you or nothing. But he commanded you to love them. And we have to learn to start loving one another. When we put love in the equation, hate gets out of the way. See, you hating on somebody is making your heart black. And, and, you know, and harden, but you choosing to still love someone. Yeah, you stole from me, but I still love you. You lied on me, but I still love you. You lied to me, but I still love you. You did all kind of stuff to me, but I still love you. You understand? I love you. I didn't forget. I never forgot what you did. Okay. I never, ever, ever forgot what you did, but I love you. I love you because I operate out of love. And that's what God has called us to do, to love one another, encourage one another, uplift one another. God has called us to, look what I got something in my mind. I'm sorry, y'all. God has called us to do those things, and that's what we should do. We should just be loving one another, uh, encouraging one another, just letting one another know that we are here for you. We are here for each other. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I love you, and I'm going to pray for you, okay? Telling someone you're going to pray for them, you have to really sincerely pray for someone be love to one another today it's not a time for us to hate one another it's not time for us to tear each other down never rejoice in trying to tear somebody else down never rejoice in trying to make somebody else look bad never rejoice in spreading lies about somebody else never rejoice in none of that stuff but rejoice in loving someone rejoice in saying i love this person no matter what they did or how they did it to me you know what i'm saying because god called me to love and god is love and if i'm from god and he for me so that commands me to love you so i'm gonna love you and i and that's just like uh listen so i work in a nursing field and i love all of my elderly patients like they're just like they're my children point blank and period because that's what they go back to babes they go back to babies when they get uh older in age so you love everybody i i love them like my children i love my neighbors i love their children's i that's just what it is i love everybody and only want the best for everybody and that's how we have to be with other people you know it's like it took me a long time to understand this some people never experienced loved you understand what i'm saying some people had their parents right in the house and they never got the love from their parents some people, and I was one of those people, some people uh, never was told by their by their parents that they loved them. And I was one of those people. So it was a while, it took me a while to, you know, um, well, it didn't take me a while, but, you know, it took me a while so that other people also was did, did experience that same stuff that I went through. It took me a while, and but I love me. I love me enough for you, you, you. I love me enough for everybody. So it doesn't matter who doesn't tell me they don't love me, who doesn't show me any love. I love me enough, and that's how that's how you guys got to get comfortable. You got to get comfortable with loving you because this world, these people, they will tear you down because they don't love themselves. They never experienced genuine, true love. You see. It's okay to fight for love. It's okay to fight for what you want. Society and man tell you, are oh, you foolish? You stupid? How you fight for that man to love you? How you fight for that woman to love you? How you doing this and do that, that this and that? Because who you love is who you love. Point blank and period. No ifs and buts about it. Don't never let nobody cheat you out of love. Don't never let nobody tell you how to love. You understand what I'm saying? Because we all love in different ways. My love language is giving. If I love you, I'm going to take care of you. Point blank and period. I give you everything you want, everything you need if I love you. There's no extent that I will go for you. Some people love language is they might not tell you that they love you. They not even might not show you no affection, but they'll buy you all kind of stuff. You heard me? 
I'll show you affection. I'm going to show you I love you. I'm going to cook food for you with love. You heard me? I'm going to clothe you with love. I'm going to hold you with love. I'm going to talk to you with love. I'm going to read. I'm going to pray for you with love. Everybody else has a different love language. Some people can tell you that they love you all day and show you the affection and love, but never buy you anything. That doesn't mean that that person doesn't love you because they're not buying you anything. Everybody has a different love language and you have to respect everybody's love language. Okay. Some people scared of love because they have never had love. But God says that to feel for compassion for those. So if you in a relationship, a situation, a circumstance, whatever the ship may be that you in with somebody else. And you know in your heart that this person loves you, but this person is not showing you that they love you. Give this person time. Don't jump down this person's throat. I need you to show me you love me. I No, 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 no. Time. Over time. Process. Rome wasn't built overnight. Sometimes people got to process the love. Because how can I show you something that was never showed to me? A lot of us, a lot of us people... Because we are grown, we feel like other grown-ups should know these things. But a lot of people don't. A lot of people really don't. A lot of people didn't have the time for no, nobody to sit down with them and tell them, hey, this is how you love, this is how you this. A lot of, a lot of men don't have the, was never sat down and seen, hey, this is how you treat a woman. They, some of them grew up in toxic households, so they don't know how to, how to treat a woman. Just like a, 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 a woman. Some of us women was grew up in a household with no fathers so you know we we didn't know how a man is supposed to treat us but you know but when when we seek god when we seek his righteousness when we seek his place he shows us different things when we read when we study you know what i'm saying when we read different books we, we study different things when we watch shows you know when we do stuff like that's all that's all signs and synchronicities like you could be prime example I'm like, say you trying to plan somewhere to take your, your children and you're like, dang, I don't know where to take my kids. I don't know where to take my kids. But you click your TV on, bam. Then something come on and be like, yeah, they ain't been there. That's a sign of synchronicity. You need to pay attention to stuff like that. Pay attention to what God is trying to show you because some of y'all are seeking information, seeking knowledge about love and how to love and how to do this. And then when God is showing you, you're not recognizing the size of sickness. And you, it's like you beating a dead horse. You beating a dead horse. The way you love and the way I love is not going to be the same. And, and it's okay. Don't let nobody make you feel like you have to love the way they love. Or you have to move the way they move. You have to believe in what they believe in. Because you do not. God gives us all free will. If you don't want to love somebody, you, you don't got to love them. You don't got to love them. You know the song I'm hearing, Tank, I Can't Make You Love Me. You do not have to love nobody if you don't want to love them. That's a free will. God gives us free will. So listen, if you want to be bitter, envious, malice, jealous, all this towards somebody, that's on you. God gives you free will. But he commands us to love, you know. And, and, and some of the times, I'm going to be honest, some of the times we don't like people and have hate in our heart for people for the most silliest things ever. For the most silliest things ever. Oh, well, you said something I didn't like. Well, duh, I'm not going to agree with you all the time. I'm not going to always say stuff that's going to that's going to tie you. I'm a parent. I don't say stuff all the time that's going to tie tie my kids. You know, but you that doesn't give you a reason to hate me. That doesn't give you a reason to dislike me when God is calling you to love me. I'm not saying with agape love. You don't got to love me with agape love. God said, you know, God commands us to love each other with agape love, but you don't have to love me with agape love. Long as you have some love for me. Long as you're not wishing no harm or danger upon me. Because anything you wishing upon me is going to fall back upon you. When you wish a silly stuff on me, when you could just wish me well and let me go about my business and live my life. That's, that's, that's what y'all and I fell realizing. God loves us no matter what. And we need to learn how to love people no matter what. I remember in, um, in 2008, one of uh, my friends, her uh, daughter was killed by a drug driver on the top of the bridge. 
and her daughter was coming home from work. She worked at this ca uh, casino called the Isla Capri. And the uh, drunk driver, he, they had, they got the cameras on top of the bridge, but bam, he hit her, spun around. He was drunk. He hit her. He hit her. He got out, went to the car or whatever, then got back in his car and left and like skip thing where they finally found her. I remember her speaking at his sentencing and she telling him that she forgives them and she loves him. I'm looking at her like, what? And she was like, she forgave him and she loved him and, and all the rest of this stuff that God needed her child more. And then so afterwards, I was so, I'm not even much going to sit here and lie. Yeah, I was hotter than a 45 at her. Because I'm like, what? And so she was like, God commands us to love. How could we say we love God and we're not loving others? I say, but that's your child. She say, yeah, but that is my child. She say, but like you always say, God, God bar, let us borrow that child. That is God's child. And then I, I thought about it and I was like, yeah, you're right. And so, um, like on Christmas, she sends, she sends the, uh, she sends the man, um, well, he was a young boy, but he's still a man. She sends him Christmas cards, still encouraging him while he does his sentence and, and you know, stuff like that. The boy, he doesn't respond back or nothing, but she just sends him cards or whatever. And I was just thinking, I don't know why that just popped up in my head to think about that. Like we must love people. Sometimes people do hurtful 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 things to us whether it's family friends ex-lovers co-workers church members neighbors landlords it's a lot of people do a lot of hurtful stuff to us but we must learn how to forgive and still love these people still wish them i don't i you never forgot what they did to you but i'm a, i love you and i wish you well i wish you nothing but the best i don't want no harm or danger to come to you I wish you the best. We have to learn how to operate out of love in everything we doing. I don't care if somebody flick you off while you driving the car. God bless you. I don't care if somebody go off on you while you trying to order you some food at a restaurant. And you get to the window. They got nasty attitudes. They got all this. God bless you. Be more compassionate. Show more love to others. Because the world I, the world we living in right now is crumbling. Because nobody's wanting to love it. Nobody willing to love anybody else. Everybody's still uh, willing to tear everybody down. What they feel to realize is that we all are a crab in a bucket. We are all surrounded by a whole bunch of water. And, and it seemed like the mo every time you turn around, every time a hurricane hit or a storm hit, we're getting surrounded more and more by water. And that's what they fail to realize. When we should be uplifting each other, we're steady pulling each other down because we don't want nobody else to do better than us. We don't want nobody else to get at the top. We don't want nobody else to do any of this. If you start operating out of love, you will see nobody's competing with you. If you start operating out of love, you will see. If we come together and love one another, man, we can conquer so much together. See, if we learn how to stand, if we learn how to stand with each other instead of being divided, you will see how much we can conquer. We can make this place we live in a whole better place if we learn how to stand and stop being divided. Stop operating out of love stop operating in hate jealous envy and strive just stop it and love one another encourage one another uplift one another you know you see me when i see a young mother with a lot of kids i always clap for her. i'm gonna be honest with you i always clap for because i have a lot of kids i always clap for her till i'm proud of her how you doing don't let me see them in the store i'm proud of you for doing your thing you know i i, I commend her you know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something, being a, a, a mother with multiple children, it's not easy. It's not easy, but God, grace and mercy and his love for us gives us the strength to go on. Do we do everything right? No. When I, when I see a young mother going to school with all her children, but she determined she, she got, she that goat, she got that goat inside of her to go. And get what she needs to get and accomplish. Man, I always clap for her. I always congratulate her. I always do that because guess what? At one point in time, that was me. And it still is me. You heard me? It still is me because I'm still going to school. I'm still doing stuff behind the scenes. It still is me. We got to learn how to love and clap for one another. Be excited for one another. You heard me? When I see these little kids out here, and, and I don't have no grass like that, but when they want to, when they out here trying to hustle, trying to make them cut grasses and doing all kind of stuff, I applaud them because you know what? They're not out here robbing, killing, or stealing. 
They're trying to get it the legit way. And even though I may not have no grass, I'm still going to donate to them. When I see a homeless man on the corner begging for money, I don't look down on him because he's begging for no money. I'm going to reach in my person. I'm going to bless him. You want to know why? I don't know what he what happened to get him in that position. But I know in a blinking of an eye, God could turn my situation around. And I could find myself hopeless and homeless and on that same corner with a sign asking somebody for money. So I don't look down on him. I choose to show him love and compassion and let him know. You down a day, my brother. You down a day, my sister. But God could turn that situation around and you'll be up tomorrow. Hold your head up. You got to learn how to operate out of love with everybody. Operate out of love with everybody. Encourage everybody. Because God has called us to love. Because God is love. And God loves us. It's your girl, the real true divine feminine. Just know that God loves you for the rest of your life. And ain't nothing you can do about it. I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Peace.